Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I just bought some sardines. Did you notice? I, um, first of all, I, I almost feel like I need a pillow under me now. Uh, I just feel like I'm very low in my seat and I realize it's because some of the hundred and almost thirty pounds that I've lost was ass. <laughs> I don't have as much ass to lift me up in the seat. So I, I might actually I might actually get a flat pillow. I don't know because I'm always trying to like lift myself up. Now there's a woman here with three children um, going to ugh. see I'm so afraid the kid was trying to get out of the cart by himself. Okay. Uh, another thing that's irritating me is that I cannot find my, my black reading glasses, which happen to be my very favorites right now and have been for a long time. And I had them on in my apartment and I could not find them anywhere. I don't go to many places in my apartment. Not at my computer, not next to my bed. So I don't know. But um, I got these babies for today. Huh? Hmm? Okay, sardines. I don't even know where I left off. I bought a shitload of sardines. I am going to be doing Dr. Boz's 72-hour um, sardine challenge. I just saw this last night, and I watched only two videos. She has another name, but she goes by Dr. Boz, B-O-Z. I will tell you, you can just go look up Dr. Boz sardine challenge on YouTube in the YouTube search bar and her videos will pop up. I will link to two of them, the one that I watched and the short one that I watched. That's how I learned about it. I was just flipping through shorts and that came up and I was like, hmm. I don't generally follow her. I believe she is keto and probably also carnivore. I think she would support both. I don't know. I don't really know much about her. I know a lot of people talk about her. But I was interested in this because from what she said, and I, I don't want to say too much because I might not say the, you know, the right things. Um, I heard the words helps for insulin resistance, I do believe, just very, very good for you, will relieve your joint pain, I'm assuming in the 72 hours, because she says 72 hours. Uh, um, I can't remember if she mentioned thyroid health. I know it's high in the omega that we want. I think it's omega 12. I can't remember. There's 12, omega 12 and omega 6. And one she says you don't want a lot of. But it's high in the good one. And uh, what was the other thing? Um, jump starts your metabolism. It's carnivore. It's sardines. So I'm going to give it a try. I like sardines. I have eaten sardines, um, but they are a kind of food that I have to be in the mood for to eat them, and I haven't had any in a long time, and I don't know if I want to eat 15 cans worth, but I didn't even know how much to buy. Okay, so let's see if I can start at the beginning. She suggested sardines. I did not hear her say herring. I love herring. I know herring is good. I have heard her in the past to say the five fish you can eat that are very, very good for you. Sardines and herring, anchovies, uh, salmon, and um, oh, mackerel. Okay? I have heard her say those five fish before. But for this, the video that I watched, I think she just said sardines. I may have skipped through it a little bit, though. I don't know. I'm going to let you go watch those videos. And you can watch other videos, too. Okay. She said sardines in olive oil. They're more expensive. And I couldn't get the great value, I don't think, in olive oil. Some people are saying that the olive oil cannot be trusted to actually be olive oil. Somebody else, though, in the comments, like, pinpointed some things she said and... That might have even been like another video that I didn't watch. I learned a lot sometimes from the comments. But anyway, so, um, or w watched a little bit of it and then just started reading the comments. Somebody else did say somewhere there that she said the ones in water were okay and that herring was okay. 
Am I repeating myself? I don't know. So uh, I decided to go with the ones in water, and even those I'm not thrilled with because there's an added... Uh, oh, it says there could be trace amounts of... Let me just read, so I don't make a mistake. Sardines in water. The ingredients are sardines, water, salt. Contains sardines. Thank you. I needed to know that. <laughs> may contain traces of wheat and soy. Soy is the fucking poison that the devil will give you. I, I hate that, but traces, traces of wheat and soy. So I still decided to go with water. I did not want to go with soybean oil, and that's what the others are packed in, the ones that are the, the cheaper ones. So I'm going with the ones in water. And she also said in one of the videos, that I watched, you can uh, use, you know, because you know how sardines come in uh, hot sauce, Louisiana hot sauce, and hot, uh, mustard, just mustard, I think. Uh, you know, she said as long as it's zero carbs. I didn't even look at this to see the carbs. Now, in the keto world, I think people count carbs. In carnivore, no, you do not. All meat is considered zero carbs, even seafood, all of it. All plants are considered carbohydrates, even if there's zero carbs on the label. It's considered a carbohydrate. Um, does it even say? It doesn't have any of that info on here. Yeah, there's, there's no info about the calorie content or anything like that. That's, that's weird, and I don't see that it's a, not a label that we can lift up. Am I really just not seeing? I don't know. Anyway. I'm good with that. And I will add hot sauce and or mustard. Mustard? Is that me being a Mainer? Mustard? Mustard. No, mustard. Mustard. I all of a sudden don't, I don't know how to speak English. Okay, so. <laughs> okay, um, I had no clue how many cans to buy. Oh yeah, so 72 hours. She said, you soon as you consume your first can, you start counting. And then, so if, when I eat, like right now it's like a little after 4.30. By the time I get home and I eat a can of sardines, I don't know, it could be 5.30. I'm gonna start at 5.30. And then uh, this is a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, at 5.30 I have to eat my last can. She says start and stop 72 hours apart. Uh, that's that's a singer in one of the bands I like. I'm trying to think. I think it is 30 Minute Ego. 30 Minute Ego? Is that something like that? Anyway, so that's what I'm doing. I'm starting today and I'm going to eat only sardines. Same kind of rules as carnivore. You eat whenever you're hungry. So you eat as many cans of sardines as you want. And no, you do not have to worry about mercury. In one of the vi videos that I watched, I think it's the one I'm linking you to, because uh, I did watch parts of others, but um, mercury, it's almost like not even possible to eat the amount of sardines that it would take to be even worried about mercury. That was just like with saccharin. You know, they had said it was going to cause cancer, cause cancer in rats or something like that. The amount of, of saccharin that a human had to ingest to have it be anywhere near dangerous would have been like you couldn't have done it in a lifetime you know what I mean they just like to, they like to scare people sometimes so I'm not worried about any of this I'm not worried about the mercury I picked up 15 cans because uh, they were running out and I was glad that there was a supply that's only five cans per day I think I'm going to need more than that um, and that you know, I'll, I'll just come back. I'll get a feel for it. Oh, but she did say that you might think you have to eat a lot. She did it for an entire week. She was on vacation, I believe, and, um, and she was stressed out. I don't know, and she had her family there, and she decided she was going to do just a week of sardines because it was easy, and it is easy. Uh, can you imagine if I go do something, I'm on the road, I could fucking eat just sardines? I never even thought of that. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna like this uh, if I, if I can tolerate it. Uh, she said, um, "Now again, I lost my train of thought because I go too fucking far down the, 
the sardine path. <laughs> I don't know how to get back. But I'm going to, um, oh yes, oh, I'm so happy when I remember. She said that uh, you will be very satisfied very quickly. Like you might be hungry at the beginning and want to eat a bunch and then you might find, I don't know if she said, but to me it sounded like, you know, if the next day you're only eating two cans, that's all you have to eat. You go by your hunger. I don't care if it's brain hunger, belly hunger. If you want to fucking eat, if you're just emotionally eating, eat all the fucking sardines you want, okay? The other thing is, I'm concerned about my animal fat. I still want my animal fat. She didn't talk about any of that, as far as I know, from what I saw. I think she did this challenge like a little over five months ago she started this. So there's been a lot. There's a lot of other people who have done it, and you could watch their videos to see their results. But don't fucking wait. If you want to do it, I want you at the store buying, buying the sardines. I want you buying the sardines if you're going to do it. And that's the other reason I like doing the ones in water. Because I'm going to still eat my butter. I don't even like the idea of olive oil. I don't think she's full-on carnivore, which is why she's okay with the olive oil. I don't, I don't want olive oil. That would be way too much uh, vegetable oil or plant oil for me. So I'm very happy with my decision to buy the ones in water, and I will still eat my butter. That's the way I'm going to do it. And I think... If I like this at all, I think Kelly Hogan, my mentor, the one I grew up on, um, I found her like seven years ago, uh, almost seven years. It'll be seven years in November that I'm carnivore. And I, I found out about her one night and I started immediately. It was middle of the night. I would have gone to the store to buy meat if we had a 24-hour Walmart, but we didn't. So I went out that next day and, and started. I think that I heard her say, I don't know if she did the challenge, I'm going to have to look that up, but I think I heard her say that because there's so much good stuff in the sardines, that I think she tries to incorporate that now into her, her meals. And I might do the same thing. If I like this, if I find any benefits to it, um, what a quick and easy thing for me to eat. Uh, if I'm, you know, I'm in a hurry, in a pinch, and maybe eat a can a day just to get all the wonderfulness, the good Omega shit. <laughs> I wish I could be, be more educated on this, but I, I don't wait. I find out something and I'm just, I'm jumping in. And I'm gonna do this for three fucking days. I don't know what it's gonna do to me. Oh yeah, so I think I'll report to you daily. So this is Sunday. I'm gonna try to do a quick video for you Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I will be finishing uh, finishing up and um, you know maybe we'll just finish this little uh, series uh, or I you know I can talk about it again after the after effects and whatever what I've decided to do I also don't quite yet have the one pound loss that I needed for my update and I did do a, a, a lot of um, not optimal eating after that weigh-in, I went to Derek's. It started with me going there for Big Brother, but believe it or not, I didn't eat anything for Big Brother. I had, I had done all the food prep first, so I did my food eating um, a little bit at my own apartment, and I filled up on ground beef. I was so in the mood for ground beef that there was no way I could put another morsel into me at Derek's. I didn't even have a pork rind or any of that dip. The only thing I did was taste that dip when I was making it, when I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. And I just tasted a little bit on the spoon. So I didn't have any of that dip or the pork rinds. I had one chicken wing after I cooked them at my place. So, um, but then I came home with some leftovers, which was a big no-no. I came home with the cheese that I bought. I had bought a pack of shredded cheese, um, Italian, and then a pack of the shredded Parmesan, and a big bag of fucking pepperoni. And I, I, I feasted on pepperoni and cheese. That always makes me gain. And I did gain a little bit back. And I'm okay with that. And then last night when I saw this, I was like, hey, maybe that'll jumpstart because you're supposed to be able to lose weight doing this too, no matter how many cans you eat, I guess. So I'm just going to eat as much as I need to. And I'll tell you tomorrow how many cans I ate, you know, by tomorrow's video. I'm hoping that'll get me down to the 
to the 10 pounds I need to do another 10 pound video, but I think I would still keep that separate. So a 10 pound video and a sardine update. Huh? I'm excited for this. I think it's fun. I'm gonna like to do this. Uh, and I could do anything for three days, right? And then um, one woman that I watched, she did it. She was so satisfied and her video was like an hour. So I just skipped through. But she was so happy with it that she thought of even doing it every week or at least a couple times a week, a d couple days a week, I don't know. But she obviously had good results. And oh, and yeah, you're supposed to be testing glucose, um, insulin, all that shit or whatever. I'm, I'm not doing any of that testing. I have no interest in buying whatever sticks you have to pee on or pricking my finger. I don't know what it entails, but I'm not doing that because I'm not concerned about that. I'd love to see how it feels for joint pain. Although all my joint pain is good, my right knee always has a little bit of joint pain, but it doesn't stop me from doing anything. But that would be interesting to see if that could clear up. This is fun. This is exciting. So subscribe so you can see the rest of this challenge. And if I find other carnivore challenges, I don't do fasting. I just don't promote that. I am of the mindset that you act like an animal. You're fucking hungry, you eat. We do accidentally fast. We do fast while we're sleeping. Um, and like animals can't always make the kill. They might have to not eat. Just like I might be very busy one day and I'm just not going to eat anything. If I can't eat carnivore, I'm not eating anything. So that's like an accidental fast. But I don't promote fasting on purpose. I do promote highly butter fasts. If you can, um, if you want to just get away from cooking for a few days, I've gone as much as four days of eating only butter, and in that case, I make sure I eat at least a stick and a half to two sticks because I want all those calories, and this is considered a sardine fast or a sardine cleanse. And look at your cans of sardines. I was looking online last night, planning my purchase, and... Beach Cliff, Beach Cliff, is that the name of the brand? They're not even actually sardines. It says sardines on the can, but the ingredients are, oh fuck. I'm gonna have to look it up, hang on. Okay, Beach Cliff. And I believe I checked all the cans, like the ones in water, mustard, and the hot sauce. Ingredients, sprats, water salt contains sprats may contain crustaceans I would rather have it maybe contain crustaceans because that's like lobster um, than wheat and fucking soy but again trace elements so may contain trace elements on the one that I bought so sprats I said what the fuck is a sprat so I looked it up and it's a tiny fish like a sardine so it's not actually sardines but they must be used as sardines. And I don't know, that's weird because it says sardines on the actual can. So I uh, didn't want to, they were, that was only $1.22. The, the sardines are cheaper than at Dollar Tree because at Dollar Tree, they're $1.25 and I paid what? What did I pay? 107, 117, something like that. And a much bigger variety. So check your sardines to make sure they're not sprats. Uh, mine, great value, are, are sardines. Oh my God, guys. <laughs> I feel so bad for anybody who has to watch my videos. But I'm so comfortable right now with the air, with the air blowing on me and my not so fat ass sunk into my seat. <laughs> Maybe that's why we can see seat now. Uh, in my old car vlogs, you, I think there's car vlogs that you can't see any of the seat behind me at all. But some of those were my Jeep also, um, way back, way back in the day when I still had a Jeep. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go, I, I gotta go home, and I can't wait to start eating some sardines. Dr. Boz, she loves pepper on hers. I'm gonna try a couple plain, but I will be doing hot sauce and or mustard that I'm suddenly self-conscious about saying. <laughs> and I'm, I'm even thinking I might do, I might do a little bit of pepper, maybe even some cayenne, a little sprinkle of that, 
and I may dabble with a little tiny bit of horseradish in there but I don't really need that I I think that I like sardines enough but with water in water I might want a little flavor oh my god I can't wait all right I will be back tomorrow with a sardine update thank you so much for watching please subscribe I mean it I have to fucking subscribe. I'll be back with more soon bye